In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways of how you can use ChatGPT image generator tool for your e-commerce business. And for each one of them, I'm going to give you the exact text or prompt that you should be giving to ChatGPT in order to make sure that you are getting the best results ever. I will show you how to use ChatGPT to create lifestyle photos for your products, website banner, mock-up for your packaging, newsletters, and Facebook ads. So are you ready? Let's get started. The prompt that you are going to use for each of these tasks is different and it's very important to use the right prompt. It took me a lot of time and a lot of testing to come out with these prompts. So make sure to get them. Just comment below prompt and I will be sending you the link. Through this video and in all the examples that I'm going to show you, I will be using the large bottle as our product. So we'll start with the first thing that you can do with ChatGPT and it is to create lifestyle photos. And in here, you need to keep in mind that this tool is still new. And I have tried over, let's say the past 10 days to test a lot of prompts and iterations in order to be able to get amazing lifestyle photos or very realistic ones. I can't say that I have reached a point where the lifestyle photos look like real photos taken by a photographer, but I have reached a point where I have acceptable photos. So as you can see in here, I have added a lot of the images of the Lark bottle. And one thing that I have found very essential is to add the brand logo, because in so many cases, this tool doesn't respect the brand logo and the product original dimensions. That's why in this prompt, I have exactly told ChatGPT to respect the product dimensions, to not alert them at all, and to use my exact logo. Okay, and when I have done this, I was able to create a realistic lifestyle photo. So this is super important. As you can see in this prompt in here, I have asked ChatGPT to create a realistic lifestyle image using the attached product photos. And I have stated to use exactly the product image as it is without alerting it or changing it. And at the end, I have asked ChatGPT to exactly use my brand logo to use it in the bottle. When it comes to complicated products, like in our case, for example, with this bottle, if you want to have a lifestyle photo with it opened, for example, with the bottle opened, the photos were turning out a little bit, let's say, funny and not very realistic. For sure, you can always ask ChatGPT to edit and change photos, but still, they weren't working perfectly well for me. Let me show you. In here, I was trying to create lifestyle photos with people on them. And as you can see, well, yes, I was able to create some, but they weren't that good or realistic. So for example, in here, my logo is not right, the bottle dimensions as well. I tried to modify them. For example, in here, I asked like to have the bottle opened, but as you can see, it's flying. I've removed it. It's a little bit better in here, but still, for example, the logo is not replaced. So the problem is sometimes you need to do the edit and then to edit the second version because ChatGPT is going to get something something else wrong. So I think at this moment, this tool, when it comes to having humans or complicated products in the lifestyle photos is not yet perfect. And you need a lot of time to get it, let's say, to give you the exact image that you want or the exact photo that you want. But still, it's very good for still images like the one I have showed you in here. And remember, this tool is going to improve over time and the results that you are getting are going to improve over time. Before moving to our next point, and if you are liking this video, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way, you will get notified every time I publish a new video. And now let's get back to our topic. Now, the second thing I recommend you to use ChatGPT for is to create website banners. And the results in here were amazing. So I have used this long prompt and I have given ChatGPT everything. The headline that I want to have, the subheadline, all the colors, everything. Again, if you want to get the prompt, just comment below prompt and I will send you the link. Okay, so I have included all the details and for sure I have asked ChatGPT to respect my product dimensions and I have just included some product shots in here. And as you can see, the result was very good. So I'm going to make it big. So as you can see, this is my bottle. This is exactly my logo. Everything is respected. I have the headline, the subheadline, and the call to action. It looks super nice and I can directly use it on my website. When it comes to the text, what I recommend you to do is not to ask ChatGPT to do many things at the same time. So don't ask it to create the heading and the subheading and to create the image. If you wish, create the subheading and heading like on another chat or even before like asking ChatGPT to generate the photo, then ask ChatGPT to create the photo with the exact headline and subheadline you want. 
The next thing I have done in here is to ask JetGPT to create a version of this image that works for mobile. So I want the text to be below the bottle and this is the result. Well, yes, for sure it can be improved. Like in here, for example, the logo is not exactly like matching my brand logo. I need to fix this by editing the image, by asking JetGPT actually to edit the image, but otherwise it works very well. I can also directly use it on my website for the mobile version. The next thing I've used ChatGPT for is to create my product packaging. And in here, actually, I've done so many trials and ChatGPT have come out with a lot of nice designs. So this is the prompt I've used. And as you can see, it's also a very detailed prompt with all the instructions in there with exactly what I want to get. If you are not that detailed, most probably the results are not going to be very good. That's why it's very important to use the right prompts in here and to give ChatGPT all the needed information in order to design good creatives for your business. So in here, I'm asking for packaging and I have given all the information. If you scroll down, this was the result. And as you can see, it's very good actually. I have asked for a design where the lid would be protected, where the bottle looks at say fancy. And this is the first design. Then I have asked for like, more insulation. I've asked ChatGPT basically to be more creative in here and this was the result. But not only that, I have done so many, let's say, trials and errors and I'm going to show you some of the packaging uh, examples or designs ChatGPT has given me and a lot of them are actually very good. So this was the first result and I think it's really nice. This is also another design done by ChatGPT and also I think it's very nice. Next on our list, we have a newsletters. And this was very tricky, really very tricky because I tried to have like ChatGPT to design the full newsletter for me once by one prompt, it was impossible. The results were horrible, honestly. It would be crap, the information were wrong, the design wasn't complete with so many other problems. So I figured out that the best way to create newsletters with ChatGPT is to actually ask it to create each part of the newsletter separately. So for our example, I have decided to create a newsletter with four parts, and this would work mostly for any actually newsletter you want to send. And I have divided those sections to be first an image with an overlay text, then a small text, then an infographic section, and finally a footer and have created a prompt for each of these sections. So I have told ChatGPT that I'm going to design a newsletter, but I'm going to give you the prompt for each section. So as you can see, I have given ChatGPT exactly what I want, the dimensions, the text, the feel, the font, the style, and everything. And here is ChatGPT is giving me a summary of what it's going to create. And this was the result. This is the first part of my newsletter. It looks very good, by the way. It has a very clear headline. I have the call to action. It's contrasting very well. It works well both on mobile and on desktop. And I was able to get this result directly as it is because my prompt was very detailed. Then next, I moved to the second section where I have asked ChatGPT to add a text talking about, let's say, my product. Okay, and when you scroll down, you will see that this is the designed section. So I can directly download this image and the image before and build the layout on OmniSand or Clearview in seconds. Then I've asked ChatGPT for the third section. And in this case, I wanted a, an infographic section with like containing these information, okay? Again, you need to change these based on your product and your business and the topic of your newsletter, but you just need to follow the same logic. And as you can see, this is the section. Again, I can download it and directly uh, upload it within Clavio or OmniSend. And finally, I have asked for a footer and this was a designed footer. These prompts are going to greatly help you to design your newsletter. The only thing that you need to do is to adjust them based on your newsletter topic and your product. And always make sure to ask ChatGPT to create every section by itself. I tried to create the full newsletter and it didn't work. So this was my, let's say, work around it and it works perfectly well. Final thing I want to show you in this video is how to use ChatGPT to create an image ad for your product. In my previous video in here, I have talked so much about how to create image ads. But after testing this tool for a while now, I have discovered that the best way to approach this is to decide on the, let's say, ad content in terms of text and to feed it directly to ChatGPT and to just let it do the design. So in here, I have given ChatGPT also the exact prompt with everything that I want to see in the image, the dimensions, the text, everything. And as you can see, this was the result and it was clean and it's actually perfect and I can directly use it 
on my ads. When it comes to profiting from ChatGPT in general and from the image generator tool specifically, I always recommend you to do the following. First, make sure that your prompt is very detailed. Second, give ChatGPT examples. ChatGPT works way better if they have examples. And third and most importantly, don't give ChatGPT multiple tasks at the same time. So if you are creating an image ad, for example, divide the tasks. Task one would be to create the text and decide on it. Task two would be to create the image, giving ChatGPT the exact headline, subheadline, call to action, or let's say benefits that you want to show in the design. And remember, if you want to get the prompts that I have used in this video, just comment below prompt and I will send you the link. If you are interested in learning how you can use AI to improve your e-commerce business, I highly recommend you to check this playlist on my YouTube channel. In this playlist, I share a lot of videos about AI and how you can use AI in order to grow and scale your e-commerce business. AI can help you to save a lot of time, to be more productive and to make more profits. So make sure to check this playlist.